Hello, my name is Greg Bem, and I am one of the faculty librarians. It is winter quarter 2020, and in this short video, I am going to explain a little bit about American Psychological Association, or APA style, and show you some of the resources that the librarians at LW Tech would like you to use when it comes to APA style. So, in this first section here, I am pointing to apastyle.apa.org, which is the official website for APA. What is APA style? APA style, as it says here on the screen, is used by writers in many disciplines around the world for concise, powerful, and persuasive scholarly communication. If I click on about APA style, the definitions and explanations essentially describe where APA came from, why it is needed, and how to use it in writing. When we think about it in terms of college and higher education, there are two main branches of APA that the librarians hope you understand. Now, we aren't necessarily the only experts on APA on campus. We also like to suggest or refer folks to English instructors, those English professors who have studied and graded APA and other formats for a long time. Um, are also some champions for APA and serve as good sources of information and knowledge for APA. But there are two branches. One is references, so citing other sources that you're going to be using in your writing and creative works, and then the actual formatting of papers, so how to write in APA format when it comes to the overall paper. And that can be everything from the title page, to the header that you use on every page, to even some of the grammar that is used in your writing. In terms of the librarian support, we like to focus mostly on the first because it most directly relates to information literacy and having students understand how to reference the materials that they're finding there in the world when they're conducting research. So APA style provides a foundation for effective scholarly communication because it helps writers present their ideas in a clear, precise, and inclusive manner. If I go back to the APA homepage, I will come back to this page after I look at a few other areas in this video, but please remember the link is apastyle.apa.org. We'll be back in this page in a moment. Now I'm going to jump over to the library's main page here for research references. And research references is a page on the library's section of the website for LW Tech. And on this page, as you can see, there are a variety of subsections that highlight a variety of different tools and styles. APA, American Psychological Association, is only one of the styles that is available to you as a student here. It is definitely the most popular used at Lake Washington Institute of Technology, and it is one of the more common formats that you will see out there when you're researching and reading articles and publishing as well. So APA style is listed here. As you can see, there are several links. You have the in-house APA quick guide, which we're going to go into in a moment. We have a link to the Purdue University OWL, or Online Writing Lab, their APA guide, and the official APA style website, which we were just on. Note that the version here for the quick guide is 7th edition. We're actually creating this video for the 7th edition because it was recently released earlier this year and is slowly being rolled out across the world at various institutions and organizations, including ours. And so now we're seeing it being adapted in all sorts of different contexts. We hope to actually list the sixth edition guide on this page as well for folks that are still using sixth edition, though we do not recommend using sixth edition anymore. And we uh, would like you to remember that you should always check on which edition is being asked of you when you're doing your papers and your created works. Okay, and then um, as you can see, there are a bunch of other resources on this page, but we're not going to go into those in this video. Now, jumping over to the next tab I have open is the quick guide, which is linked on the last page. As you can see here, the quick guide 
is a fairly short guide that was developed by the librarians earlier in 2020 to help you get information on APA citations very quickly. The APA 7th edition quick guide includes a variety of examples of the most common formats that we believe you will need and you will need to know about in terms of your papers and your creative works. So when we think about APA, and this is not only the seventh edition, but other editions as well, it's important to note that the references that we're creating are either going to be in our works cited pages, our references pages at the end of the paper, or the in-text citations, which we use when we're writing the paper and in our narrative. Our prose will include these in-text citations, and these essentially serve as links towards the end of the paper. So the reader can match up what you're saying with the sources that you're using in your paper and in your work. So in the case of a journal article, let's say you found a journal article you wanted to use and reference in your paper to avoid plagiarism, you would include this reference at the end of your paper and then you would include an in-text citation linking your text in your paper to the reference. We've also included examples of books and reference works, web pages from a website with a group author, web pages from a website with an individual author, YouTube video and other streaming video. And we've also included this helpful table on what to do if any of your references are missing the required information. So if we zoom in here and take a look at one of these examples, the journal article, you'll notice that the format requires you to list the authors, the year, the title of the article, the name of the periodical, the volume of the periodical, and the issue number, the page range, and then the DOI, which is essentially like a URL or an ID number for that document. If any of these were not available in your publication that you're using, you could find out how to adapt your formatted reference um, to include, uh, or to be, to be written in a way that accommodates for that lacked data. If, of course, you have questions on the format or how to do these formats or how to read all of the different information on this page, we encourage you to reach out to the library. Again, this is a quick guide. It is not comprehensive. It includes only a handful of the most common sources that we see in our library system and the students that are writing papers and creating works um, typically use these types of sources. Now, I want to also mention that this guide is fluid. This is version 4.1. It may be updated. It may be improved over time. This is just 4.1 out of a potentially infinite number of versions. Keep that in mind. And also keep in mind that the 7th edition may be upgraded to the 8th edition within 5 or 10 years. It's not uncommon to see an update from these associations when they're improving their formatting style. So that is the quick guide. Now back on the APA style page, one of the most important documents we like to refer folks to is at the bottom of the page, which is the reference quick guide. Now this might seem like overload, so please feel free to pause or skip this part if the quick guide seemed easy enough for you. But essentially I just wanted to point out that the reference guide exists. Here it is in this PDF reader. And really what this guide is designed to do, it shows you two common types of sources, journal article and book, on this page. And then on the next page, chapter in an edited book. And then each of the sections of the reference are highlighted in a specific color and then described in these pop-out boxes. So you can understand the reference a little bit better. It asks you questions like, does the article have a document object identifier or DOI? And then it explains what to do if it has one. APA has done a really good job at expanding their clarity and their informativeness when it comes to how complex this system is and 
how constantly evolving the APA style has become over time. So I want to give kudos to APA for creating such an amazing reference guide. And we have these guides available at the library desk as well. Now, all of that said, if you're more of a in-person, physical book type of person and these websites just confuse you, I want to point out that you can actually pick up the APA style manual, which is this giant manual that the library has several copies of, by visiting the library. And if you want to learn more about the manual, and we only have a physical edition available, you can actually search for APA manual in library search. But let me pause here and go back to the library page and show you how to get access to that. From the library page, if you look at the right hand side and on any of the library pages, it will look the same way. You will see in bold library search. Clicking on that will take you to library search, this page. And once you're there, you can enter APA manual, hit search, and it will load up the results for the APA manual. Now you're going to get a lot of different articles and books regarding APA, and some of them are actually out of date. They refer to the sixth edition or even earlier editions. So what I want to point out here is this number three here, the publication manual of the American Library Association, the official guide to APA. This is the book that I'm talking about. This is the book that we have several copies of available at the library. And as you can see, it says five copies available and they are on reserves. That means that if you go to the library desk, you can come pick up one of these manuals and use it in the library only for several hours at a time. So I highly recommend if you like to uh, get a physical resource, physical tool to help you as you're sorting through your references to stop by the library and take a look at the manual. Also, the manual is gigantic, as I mentioned, and it has a lot of the specific rules and the specific source types that the quick guide and the reference guide don't cover. So in some ways, the manual can be much better and much more helpful to you as a researcher especially if you're working on a long research project with a lot of resources that you need to cite and you need to cite properly and accurately. So that is how to find the APA manual. Finally, I want to mention one more time that the library is open to helping you. If the library is closed for some reason or if the library is not available when you need us or the you need help at a time when the library is not open, please feel free to send us an email at library at lwtech.edu and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this very introductory video to APA 7th edition using some of the resources that we like to recommend. And if you have any questions, let us know. Have a great day.